The purpose of this tutorial is to demonstrate how we add a gable or dormer to the perimeter of a roof. This is the result we require, the additional dormer at the corner. This is often difficult, especially when they are almost exactly at the same location as the existing geometry. To save time, I'm going to recover the outline that I previously used. We use construct roof, recover outline. And this should be my outline. There we go. No. Hip and valley, OK. Now we use the pitch, whatever the architect has specified for our roof. And because we're dealing with the perimeter of the roof, I'm going to use an eave overhang of a zero. No vertical planes and no gable overhang changes. Continue. And the roof is constructed. So the next thing we want to do is now add the perimeter to the perimeter of this roof, a gable end. We'll use the reference button located in the middle of our accelerator buttons here, that's this one with the O. We snap the corner where we need to start and we're going to start 5 millimeters away from that corner in the vertical direction along the eave line. Go left, the required distance, and then we'll go up the required distance, and then we'll close square, and then finish. It will be the same pitch and the same overhang as the other roof, and we hit OK. And now we're going to define the vertical planes. The vertical plane at that edge, vertical plane this edge. Now, careful here, the line is flashing to indicate that it's found the wall line for our pre-existing roof. That's not the one we want. We want the short one, which is our little gable roof. Cancel out of there, use those two lines, and continue. So the little gable roof is constructed, and now we use our project gable function. So locate the ridge near the gable end. That's what we've done. Select it to the plane, and the roof is constructed. Perfect. Now I'm going to show you another way to achieve exactly the same result using the dormer function. Both work, the result is identical. Gable roof, pitch, whatever, distance along the eave. Now the, the dormer is 5 metres wide. We wish to start 5 millimetres from the edge, so we're going to move up the eave line by 5 mil, and the overhang on this dormer is 2 metres. So if we preview that, that's exactly what we require. Insert, and it's over and done. Beautiful. And that's it. Couldn't be any simpler. Any questions? Send us an email, support at applicat.com.au, and we'll take care of business. Now, the reason we start 5 millimeters away, let me show you that. If we start exactly on the corner, we create a problem for the software by virtue of the being a bunch of coincident lines. So you should try and avoid that if you can. This time I'm not going to give it an offset. I'm starting exactly at the corner. I'll go uh, from there, I'll go up 5 metres, left 2 metres, close square, finish, and OK, and define barge lines there and there. No to that one, yes to that one. Right click yes, and continue. And now we'll project our line, ridge line. And we'll project the ridge line to a plane. And there is our problem. So if you ever see that, it's easy to fix. You just move away from the corner by an eighth of an inch or a millimetre or two. Um, you'll see there that it's failed to take the material out from underneath. And the quickest way to overcome this is simply start a millimetre or two away. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Look forward to hearing from you on the email, and uh, please look out for other tutorials as they come up on the website. Bye for now.